Let's talk about why we initially thought all flying air bison were extinct aside from Appa. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video, it's your boy Siphon back at it again. In this video, we're going to be explaining why we thought the sky bison went extinct, why they look slightly different, and why they're so important to air nomads. So let's begin with Avatar The Last Airbender of the series. So we can see throughout the series that we have a favorite main character named Appa, which is a sky bison who uses airbending in order to lift off and fly around. Appa is the species that the air nomads used in order to learn airbending techniques from. A fun fact to note is that sky bison can actually airbend not only through their tails, but also through their mouths. But yeah, aside from that, let's get into the history. So as we can tell from Avatar The Last Airbender, he is the last airbender for a reason. So there was a mass genocide towards all airbenders in order to try and kill off the Avatar cycle so that he wouldn't come back and try to bring balance to the earth again. So because of this, many air temples were burned to the ground, all airbenders were killed, which included their sky bison, simply because the sky bison would go ahead and defend them as well. Sky bison, regardless if they had a life partner or not, would defend the air nomads as much as they could because of their strong bond towards them. Because of this, we initially believed that all airbenders as well as sky bison were completely extinct aside from Appa and Aang. But pushing forward towards the end of the series when Aang took away Fire Lord Ozai's firebending and created peace between all nations, Aang actually found a natural herd of sky bison flying around. Which although is true, it still remains a fact that sky bison are an endangered species. Not only does Avatar Aang find a wild herd, but we actually know of this group called the Banti which actually consistently kept a herd of sky bison domesticated throughout the years which predates back to avatar wong era we see the bonti being introduced in the legend of korra as a group of spiritual leaders of the four nations which tends to isolate themselves from the outside world but definitely keeps tabs on what's going on so because of this the bonti were able to help korra cleanse herself of the dark spirit eating off of her and actually gave her one of the sky bison that they had domesticated throughout the years which is extremely helpful to korra but is also extremely helpful to keep the sky bison species alive and let's Let's not forget why the sky bison species was so important to the air nomads. For one, it was the main source of transportation considering you cannot actually reach one of the temples unless you were either somehow flying or had a sky bison to get you there. We also know that the airbender as well as the sky bison will have a special lifelong connection which is also tied into spirituality. One of the coolest things I can remember about Aang and Appa's spiritual connection is that a guru named Patik was actually able to help Appa and Aang come back together after they were separated for a long time. Through their spiritual bond, he was able to show Appa exactly where Aang was, which is something super powerful and a great example of what their lifelong companionship as well as spiritual bond really is made up of. I'd also like to mention one last fun fact about the Sky Bison, which is that in the newer Legend of Korra series, they look slightly different, more curly and more plushy, which could have to do with the animation change or could actually have to do with their evolutionary stage being brought up. And be sure to check out all the other Avatar videos I have for you guys throughout my channel for the latest theories and explanations. But hey, that's all I can come up with. Let me know if you guys have any other comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. Let's continue the discussion down there. Peace.